Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Father James. I have my Our Lady of Guadalupe coffee mug because I'm here to talk to you about uh, the plans, the hopes, the dreams to update and renew the central location of Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish, which is St. Peter's Parish Church. Now, we've been talking about this for quite a number of years. We went through a, a whole uh, discernment process three years ago looking at different options, determining that for the future we would renew this present building, which is almost 60 years old, and add on to it. And that's where we've been going. We had a, 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 a we followed that up in 20, in 2021, uh, with a dreaming session where we had, we had three different sessions where we, we dreamt about what this building could be. We looked at the future and what the future needs would be. We looked at the question of values. What values would be enshrined in, in this building. And after that, we began conversations with uh, uh, Zap, uh, a Dartmouth-based architectural company uh, who's, who have family connections with the original architect of this building. So I want to give you an update about where we are right now because we've been doing a lot of work. We formed a, a building renewal committee that have been working for the last year and a half with the architectural company and have gone through several iterations of, of concepts. We brought this uh, almost a year ago to the parishioners in a, in a homily after I had gone to the bishop with a basic concept to get the green light to go to the next level. And we're, we've been working again for quite a bit. Now remember, the number one thing in the challenge that we're facing is that, is that what was at one point the front of the building is going to be enclosed, shall we say, by a new building that's going to appear on this site. So this, uh, this site, from what we were told, we met with the developers and they would guess that they're going to begin construction probably this summer, probably early summer. And I want to show you on the screen right now what they expect this building to look like. You see it? Oh, obviously it's coming from the other side, but as you can see in this image, you can't see our church at all. It's completely blocked out. And so if we're standing here where I am right now in the parking lot, we're going to be really up against almost, almost a wall. So for that reason, the architects recommended that we, we turn the whole uh, direction of the church around to 180 degrees, which means that uh, what is now, that this area would become uh, the back of the church, basically, on the other side of these doors would be the sacristy and the, and the vestry where the priest would get ready, that the presider's chair would be at this end of the church building and that the entrance would be at the far end of the building. So I want to show you some drawings that, now here, here's the secret. These are already quite old. We already have the next generation of detailed drawings and they're, they're really, really good. And we already have uh, the, the floor plans that have been mapped out. And we've had several meetings, we've had feedback, we had a presentation just this past week of the architectural firm with the, um, with the building renewal committee. And there are some changes that are going to be made. And then the company are going to make an animation, uh, a 3D animation fly around of, of, of the new building. So there's lots more to show you, but I want to show you these pictures. So you can see in this first picture is the main, uh, add-on, I think the main add-on, that doesn't make any sense, but it's one of the most significant spaces because it's the big space that can seat up to 150 people around tables. You're looking at the picture outside and now take a look at the picture inside. That's pretty cool looking. And then you'll see in the next picture of what the, in a sense, the pedestrian entrance to the building will look like. You see that there's a, there's a carport and people are going to enter in and will come down the stairs. There's going to be stairs and an elevator to bring them down. And then you'll see the next picture is the, is the far side looking at the building from Maple Street. So the opposite of where I'm standing right now. And that space right there is going to be used kind of like a, uh, possibly for wakes, for funerals. It's going to be a space where families will gather before a funeral. It doesn't have to be exclusively used for that, but that's the rough idea 
of that space. So I want to give you an update in terms of where we are with coming to you, uh, the parishioners, with details about this. So on March the 30th, I believe it's a Thursday night, I hope it is, March the 30th, we're going to be having an opening open meeting, inviting all parishioners, and we will have at that point uh, the final version of what we at that point believe God is calling us to do. I mean, that's the critical thing. No, we want to bring it to you. We've at this point, the committee will have done its work. They will have, you know, received the, the feedback they received through the the dreaming process and it, it working with the feedback that we did with the first consultation with the prisoners and uh, working with the architect. We're going to bring this to you. We're going to show it to you and receive your feedback. Here is the plan uh, that by the end of this calendar year, so by the end of 2024, we will, we will hopefully, hopefully by then, have a, a general sense of what it is that we're called to, to build. And these drawings, even the, the, the drawings of the floor plans, they're not the drawings you need to actually do the work. Uh, these are, as, in many ways, this is the, this is the initial drawing that allows you to, to, give, to get basically an idea of, of, of what you're doing, but it will be enough for us to be able to approximate a cost. So what do we believe we're called to build? What is the cost going to be? And then one of the more important questions, how are we going to pay for this? <laughs> so we want to create a plan for that. And we've got to bring that plan, those plans to the archdiocese and get the green light from the archdiocese. And here's the thing. If we get the green light, it's still going to take quite a long time before this is done. We're still talking a couple of years, okay? So this is all slow going, uh, but um, time passes rather quickly and things are moving at a good pace. It's exciting and I hope you're excited about this possibility as well. So mark that date in your calendar, May 30th, and I'm really looking forward to you seeing uh, the drawings that we saw this past week is very, very exciting. Anyway, thanks everyone and God bless.